Welcome back guys to another episode of Solar Advice where we keep energy solutions simplified. In today's video we're going to talk all about the hybrid inverter. I brought my own inverter into the studio and it has a couple of scratches on it but it's going to be great for this example. Now I can't tell you how much I love my hybrid inverter. This particular inverter, it wasn't my first inverter. The previous one I had before was an off-grid inverter. It worked well and it did a job and at the time I didn't really understand how inverters work and especially the difference between the off-grid and the hybrid inverter. And when I did install this beautiful machine, it made a tremendous difference. So today we're going to go through all the reasons why I think you should buy one of these hybrid inverters. So one of the first features I want to talk about, and this is my very favorite feature, is the blending technology. Now what this essentially means is that if you're connected to the grid and you have your solar array connected and you also have battery backup, what this does is that it powers your load in the most efficient way possible. So let's give it a little example. If your solar array is producing 500 watts and your load is one kilowatt, typically an off-grid inverter, what it will do is they'll switch over from the solar panels to your battery bank. And if there's not enough power in your battery bank, it will swap straight over to your grid, which is not ideal. So the hybrid inverter, what this does instead, it takes that 500 watts, it takes a portion from your battery, if not all the portion, and then lastly, it takes from the grid. So you're always using the power from the sun and then any kind of resource that you have, like your backup, and then the rest from the grid. Now, the great feature of hybrid inverters is that it has uh, two MPPTs, as you might be able to see at the bottom. These are great. Now, typically in an off-grid inverter, you get one MPPT. What is an MPPT? Well, we'll explain this in another video, but essentially it's your connection point to your solar panels. Now with dual MPPT or two MPPTs, what this allows you to do is have two separate solar arrays. So what's really cool about this is that you can have two different size arrays. This might be helpful if you want to expand later. So you can fill out the one array to its maximum capacity. And then later on, if you only need so many panels, then you can put that on the second one. Another important aspect that I love about this inverter is that the build quality is so much more robust. It is built, as you can see, in one die cast, which uh, makes it a little tougher. The other th thing is that it's quite quiet compared to off-grid inverters. And the reason behind this is that it has a heat sink on the back. Well, most hybrid inverters do have this. So when you're going to look for a hybrid inverter, these are one of the things I would look out for personally. So in contrast to the off-grid machines, uh, the hybrid machines doesn't have fans mounted at the bottom. And these tend to suck up dust and cause other issues. So this brings me to my next point, is that this machine is IP65. Uh, it can be mounted outside under a roof, and as long as it's not in direct sunlight to keep it cool, then it's good to go. With that being said, it's not completely waterproof, and obviously you don't want to mount it in direct sunlight because you want to keep this machine cool. And lastly, I'd like to mention the fact that this is a high voltage machine. Uh, typically with off-grid machines, they are low voltage, so the added benefit of that is that you can have a larger PV array with machines like these. So with all these features in mind, you might be thinking that this is going to be a more expensive machine. And yes, it's more expensive than your typical off-grid machine. But that being said, it comes with a better warranty period compared to the off-grid machine. I personally be looking for a five year warranty or more, and you can also get an extended warranty from certain manufacturers. In conclusion, guys, I hope this video has given you some value in understanding hybrid inverters better. And look, I might be a bit biased in the whole scenario because I've got a hybrid inverter, but coming from an off-grid to a hybrid, I can tell you it's a really worthwhile investment. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you've got any questions, please comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want the more of this content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, great. Okay, let me just uh, uh, get my thoughts together. So let me just, okay, so, uh, uh, yes, um, but are you gonna go, but uh, um, uh, so, let, me, so. um, let me think about this now. So, okay, uh, you may use your panels first. No, that's wrong, sorry. <laughs> Okay.